Hello there. Today we are going to expand our knowledge about how to work with text animators in Adobe After Effects. And I'm going to show you how I did this little cheeky funky animation uh, in about, I don't know, five, ten minutes, something like that. Bear with me because this is going to be very, very, very easy. Kinetic Type Series by Hulk79. So let's go to uh, another composition where I have just plain text. We are working here with Noye has grotesque. Uh, in this case, 45 light, because I want it to contrast a lot with the effect, which is going to be something kind of grunge. Uh, and let's start uh, because this is very, very, very simple to achieve. So if we open the text layer, here in the animate button we are going to add for example to start with let's say something like uh, tracking okay and this animator is the one that we are going to keep filling with different things okay so let's open this to something like 15 and now we are going to set the main animation that's going to serve uh, to the to the whole thing, to the whole effect. So if we open here the range selector, we need to change in advance the units for percentage to index. Okay, it's not entirely necessary, but I think it's going to be easier to understand what we are going to do here. And in this case, instead of characters, we are going to be working with words. Okay? So if we now change the range selector at the end to 1, and we start playing with the offset, you can see that the effect is applied to every individual word here. So let's add another parameter or attribute to the text animator to understand that better because the tracking is a little bit subtle visually. So if we go to property, we are going to be adding another attribute into this whole system. So we go to property and uh, let's say that we are going to add a skew here. And if I increase the value of the skew, you see, okay that we are adding another effect or attribute to this text animator. So I'm going to start making the animation here, okay? Just playing with the offset. I'm going to go to the beginning of my timeline. Here I'm going to create the first keyframe and it's going to be set to minus one so that it, uh, it is not affecting any of the words. Uh, let's say that in the second five for example because this is kind of a long test uh, i'm going to set it to i'm going to move it until it is out of every word okay so i assume it's going to be yeah 18 so that means that we are we have 18 words here so if now if you can see you can see that we are moving our animation through the entire text. So now I'm going to start making interesting things here. So I'm going to add a property that is the blur. Okay. So, and I'm going to uh, unlink the X and Y values. And I'm going to increase a lot the X and not that much the vertical property of it. So now, you see that this is very very interesting but i'm going to add like some levels effect okay so i'm going to go to window effects and presets uh, here i'm looking for the levels and the ones that follow the kinetic type series knows where all this is leading so in levels i'm going to deal with the alpha and I'm going to start messing around with these controllers, moving them to the left and this to the right, so that I create this kind of blur, Neville Brody vibe here. Okay, 
so you can see how this is starting to get very very interesting okay so i'm going to keep finessing these effects here with the levels also i'm going to increase this and now it's a matter of keep adding all the stuff that you want like let's say here i'm going to add a scale i'm going to unlink it and i'm going to increase it horizontally so now i'm going to start playing with the timing okay and one thing that is very very interesting that i like to do in the range selector okay here in the smoothness i love how it feels when i increase the easy height to 100 and the easy low to 100 that way if you preview your animation you see that it feels a little bit more steppy like it's kind of stopping in every uh, word so that's amazing and the last thing that i did really uh, for to achieve this animation here is i carefully if i select the layer and hit u to show the keyframes you can see that here in the offset there are a lot of keyframes but that was only to stop in some specific words so the last thing that i want to tell you is like uh, you have a link to my buy me a coffee web page where if you fancy you can look around and maybe uh, you want to contribute by buying uh, an after effects project uh, you have even some free ones like this one here uh, which is on the house or this one here too so yeah that was that have some fun and see you in the next one Kinetic Kinetic type series. Series by Hulk 79